Hi! Um, I am the internet's biggest catfish right now. Basically, a couple weeks ago, I had an identity crisis. Um, and by identity crisis, I mean eye appointment. I'm not like everyone else. I don't have identity crises. I'm very confident in my appearance, so I guess you could say I'm, I don't know, different. <laughs> okay. Over the last few years, my eyesight slowly changed. I was due for new prescriptions and here I am today. So now I've rebranded. Not that I had much of a brand to begin with anyway, but I'm ready for this new chapter of my life. My first day of senior year is tomorrow. Isn't that just exciting? <laughs> yeah! As long and painful high school has been so far, looking back, time really flew by and I don't know how I got to this point. Like I am a senior now. I'm like an old person who belongs in a retirement facility with other old people. But that's besides the point. Tonight I am pulling an all-nighter because I am dumb and stupid. Those are synonyms. And I don't know how to look after my own health. So welcome back to this week's episode of Jared makes poor choices yet continues to make them because he can't learn from his own mistakes. Lengthy, but it gets the point across. I don't think I've ever really successfully pulled an all-nighter. Like I've stayed up from sunset to sunrise many times. And by many, I mean like twice. I stayed up really late on school nights before till like four, 5 a.m. editing a video or something, but I always ended up falling asleep, but not this time. I am staying up all night and all throughout the school day and all the way up until tomorrow's sunset. And I will regret doing this. Okay, so it's a little bit later. It is 10 o'clock right now. And in the Baird household, 10 o'clock starts quiet hours, meaning that if you're loud, then it's off with your head. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, Jared, don't be dramatic, just whisper. If you know me, that is something I can't do. I don't whisper. I'm always loud and I can't help it. And I don't know about you all, but these walls are thin and my parents' room is right underneath mine. So even if I fart in the middle of my sleep, they wake up to that. So now the question we ask ourselves is, Jared, what are you gonna be doing all night? My answer to that is, I don't know. Something that I thought would be so fun is to do a cooking video. Like imagine a cooking with Jared at 2 a.m. Like, are you kidding? That'd be iconic. I don't know how to cook, but as long as I'm living under my parents' roof, I have to follow their rules. So <laughs> I love that for me. Another question you may be asking yourself is, Jared, how are you gonna stay up all night? Well, I have one of these. Let's do a little bit of ASMR. Cheers to making poor decisions. <laughs> This is gonna come in handy later. I'm not even tired yet, so I don't wanna waste it all right now. I may be stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Something I quickly discovered after trying to update you all on what I was doing throughout the night was that talking wasn't really an option. So editing me made the artistic decision to narrate my overnight adventure for you. So get excited. So it's 12.45 in the morning and we're starting to approach the crackhead hours of the night. I'm not sure why, but I found myself watching Minecraft Let's Builds and tutorials and I honestly found it kind of soothing and peaceful and numbing to the mind. It was right when I realized I've gone hours without blinking that I had to use the bathroom. So I did, and I had a great time. Now it's 2.15 in the morning and I decided I needed to do something productive with all this free time I had. So I started deleting pictures that I didn't need and my camera roll to help free up some space. And then I heard something fall downstairs. So that was kind of sketch. It's four o'clock in the morning and I can officially say that at this point, I lost my mind in its entirety and there was no going back. For the remainder of my night, I found watching TikToks to be highly entertaining. Definitely more than they should. They just sort of hit different when you haven't slept in nearly 24 hours. <sighs> so it is 7.06 in the morning and I haven't slept, period. I know I didn't film every second of last night, so obviously I could have faked this, but I didn't. I stayed up the entire night. I didn't close my eyes for five minutes. I didn't go to bed. And you're honestly just gonna have to take my word for it. I never lied to you all before, so why would I lie now? Plus, this should be the kind of crackhead energy you'd expect from me. Like, are we surprised? Absolutely not. Oh my gosh, I'm still filming. I need to start getting ready for my first day of senior year, so I'll see you all again when I'm a little more presentable. <laughs> I don't wanna die. Not that any of you would really care, but today I'm repping this all black look, black shirt, black jeans, must I say more. Something that I didn't even consider is that I'm going back to school today and I didn't go back to school shopping. Like this is my backpack and it's empty. Like I've never been so 
unprepared in my entire life. I just dug through my closet and found some stuff from last year, so I guess I'm gonna do a supply haul. Am I a beauty guru now? All I'm gonna bring is this orange notebook, this folder with some paper in it, and two mechanical pencils. Oh, and my hydro flask. How could I forget? I'm at school. I'm here. I had a whole summer to erase all the trauma and I've come right back. I genuinely feel so bad and disgusting and I feel like I could pass out. Like, I don't even have the energy to film this right now. I just want to go to bed. I definitely underestimated how fragile I am. I'm actually a baby, a literal fetus. If I don't get inside the building right now, I'm literally gonna be tardy, but watch me collapse on my way inside. I kid you not. I'm praying my body doesn't give up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Today was so exhausting. It is four o'clock right now. I just got home from school and I had quite the day. Today was my last first day of school and honestly, I rate today a zero out of 10. The beginning of the day was definitely the worst. I could not pay attention to anyone or anything because my heart was beating so slowly that I was just so concerned that it would just stop beating altogether. But as the day rolled on, I started drinking more and more water and that definitely made me feel a lot better. I think for the last half of the school day, I was running more on adrenaline than actual nutrition. So that was very interesting. But as I promised at the beginning of this video and as tempting as it is, I am not falling asleep until after the sun sets tonight because that would have made this the ultimate all-nighter. I would have been awake all day until sunset, all night until sunrise, and all day until sunset, which is literally insane. By the way, I was too out of my mind to say this this morning, but I did finish the entire energy drink last night. I drank it very slowly in small sips throughout the entire night to make sure that I could actually stay up all night. As desirable as caffeine sounds right now, I'm not gonna have any because I wanna make sure I fall asleep tonight at a good time. So I will catch up with you all tonight at sunset, so that way I can finally end off this video and catch them Z. Guys, this is it. This is what I have been waiting for all day. Okay, so now that the sun has set, I I'm going to bed. I am so exhausted. Exhausted is an understatement for how I'm feeling right now. I do want to say though, please do not do what I did. It is not healthy. It is not safe. So use me as an example of how not to live your life. I never want to do this again unless I absolutely have to. This was honestly the worst way I could have spent my first day of senior year. So, um... Let's make better choices next time. But I do hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to like. It helps more than you realize. Also, subscribe, comment. Y'all know what to do. And I will see you all next week with a brand new video. Bye.